So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, I have 6 times 10 to the second power times 3 times 10 to the fourth power. Now, basically what I'd like you guys to understand is when we are multiplying in scientific notation, um, the easiest thing is to keep it in scientific notation. And basically all we're going to do is multiply <laughs> our numbers in front, which would be 6 times 3, which is 18 times. And then remember, when we're multiplying these, base, these 10 to the base, we're just going to do just like our power of exponents, which I t started the class with. So that's going to be 10 to the sixth power. Because remember, when we're multiplying, as long as they have the same base, we add the exponents. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. Okay. Now, there's a problem, though, with this. If you guys remember, we cannot write a problem in, in uh, scientific notation when our a, our first value, is, between, is not between 1 and 10. So therefore, this is, if you were going to write this 1, 18 times, all right, so 18 times 10 to the 6th power. Here's my decimal point. I need to move it to, if I was going to rewrite this you know, out as the number, I'd move it over 6 places. Correct? Would everybody agree with me? But I need the decimal place to be between where? The 1 and the 8, right? So rather than saying this is my final answer, I'm going to want to say 1.8 times 10 to the, now how many spaces do I need to move over? 7. It's an, I pretty much added an extra space. So if here's my new decimal point, then I need to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so be very careful when you guys are doing your operations today that when you get your final answer, you make sure that it's in scientific notation.